Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Mike Rashid. This is Elijah and we're going to go over a proper bench press setup. Okay. Now it's different stages of your bench press setup and we want to go through each one of them with you comprehensively because just being strong and benching weight is not it. You got to have proper technique for a couple reasons. One, you don't want to hurt yourself. Two, you wanna be very efficient, okay? You don't wanna be burning yourself out because you're trying to stabilize yourself or get your hand in the right position while the weight's off your chest, I mean, off the, uh, the rack, all right? Because it can get dangerous once you start getting to heavy weight. And don't y'all all wanna get to that heavy weight? Of course you do. Because that's the only way to make actual gains and build muscle. The weight has gotta be heavy relatively for you, all right? So Elijah, the first thing we're gonna do is hand positioning, which is very important. Now, some people always ask me, where should I place my hands? Should I use a suicide grip or loop around? Whatever is comfortable for you. I choose to use what they call suicide grip. I don't know why they call it that. I've never dropped the bar on myself at all. I've been doing it since I was his age, okay? But you can wrap, I've had times where I've wrapped around, my thumb around, it's fine. Whatever you're comfortable with is what you do, okay? Now, each bar, y'all gotta excuse my bar, some, some rust on it, because this is the bar from upstairs uh, in the oceans down the street, so the condensation makes it, you know, rust, but it works fine. So, uh, there's rivets and there's lines on every bar. What you do is, wherever your hand is on one side, it's gotta be there on the other side. The bar is perfectly symmetrical, so you wanna make sure you are the equal amount of space from the line on each side, so you can use those lines to kind of measure where you're at. So, and whatever is comfortable for you, that's what you do. All right, so you got your hand positioning good? Is this where you wanna be at? Cool. All right, stay right here. Now, the next thing you wanna do is uh, focus on is the bar path. Now, with that, I don't want you guys to flare out your elbows like this. This is typically what people do. That is a way to damage your shoulders. Even though it feels normal, it's not gonna be normal after a while. It's not gonna feel good. So what you do to protect your shoulders is kind of turn in to where your elbows is closer to the body versus flare it out. And the bar should come about right here, right under the pec. All right, son, so go ahead. Elbows in, good. Now, uh, explode up, okay? You always wanna come down nice and easy. Explode up, wow. You, you pretend like there's a lot of weight on the bar. This is the best way to get a strong bench press is doing it with no weight perfectly because what you're doing is practicing perfectly. Some say practice makes perfect, but that's a fallacy. Perfect practice makes perfect. So when the, there's no weight on the bar, that's a perfect opportunity to practice the right way to do it perfectly, okay? So you pretend there's a lot of weight on this bar and you explode up, okay? You come down nice and controlled, you respect that weight, explode up. Now, the reason for that is because you have to be explosive to, when you're like trying to get a PR and you're like, you know, trying to get that extra five pounds or something like that, it don't seem like a lot. But when that's close to your max, it feels like the world is on, on the bar. So that extra explos explosiveness is gonna help, all right? Trying to do it nice and slow is not gonna do it. Um, there's a lot of times when I'm working with different people and they're clearly strong enough to get a certain weight. However, they're not being explosive, so uh, they're not able to get it. Once I teach them some explosiveness, there's different things that you could do for explosiveness, then they can get that weight, all right? But the best way to do it is to practice when there's no weight on the bar. Because if you develop bad habits, you gotta break it all, but no matter how strong you become, you gotta start all over from scratch and learn it the right way. And it's really difficult once you're already strong at doing something, you don't wanna get efficient at doing it the wrong way. All right, so you want to practice perfect. All right, the bench press is to be respected. This is every man's dream is to have a big chest, strong bench press, the whole nine. I know it was mine. So, and I got there. My goal always was to hit a 500 pound bench press, and I did that, all right, five plates. The progression is what we'll do next. Uh, that could be another video, but this is, I just want to give you guys a perfect and a precise bench uh, setup because that's so important and doing things efficiently and properly is gonna make all the world of difference, all right? Anyway, hope y'all enjoy. We about to get into this workout. Subscribe, comment, share, and I'll holler at y'all later. Peace.